The fire that destroyed two traditional silos full of mahango grains is said to have started from a traditional hut. It is suspected that a mattress inside the hut may have fell on low-intensity fire in the hut when a whirlwind blew across the homestead. Gelasius Masati, who was outside the homestead threshing mahango, says they were only alerted by neighbors after the whirlwind. After a while, we could hear people calling us to alert us that there is a fire inside the homestead, so we quickly rushed to come inside. The family was left reeling in shock. What is shocking to me is, from here, where the heart burned, was the silos. A person can take about 30 steps to there, closer to where the heart burned. There are wooden poles, but none of them caught fire. There is also a sleeping room and electrical cable, but did not also catch fire. It just went straight to the silos, so that I can maybe starve of hunger. Although they managed to save some of the mahangu, they are worried that they may be ruined by the water that was used in attempts to put out the fire. The family described the loss as a huge one. It's a huge loss for us. From what we harvested in the 14 hectares we plowed this year, I thought of taking some for our own consumption and sell some. I get money from selling mango, which I used to pay for my children at school. Hira said they are now likely to depend on buying maize meal from shops, which may be a challenge for him as the head of the house because he is unemployed. The family also lost some of their household items, such as washing basins, chairs, a mattress, bed and two sofas. The fire was extinguished with the assistance of the Nkurenkuru Town Council's Fire Brigade.